everyone has their own way of showing the type of love language that they have. Love language is basically the language of love in the form of actions, behaviors, and attitude that makes someone feel valued or loved. The presence of love language is considered very crucial because it can make you and your loved ones understand each other in a very depth and better. And then what are the love language are there and what is the right way to find out the type of love language that someone has. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is again Filipina Elated and for today's topic is we will talk about love. So love is a very broad topic that even myself, I can put it into words or what is really love. But do you know that we can classify it? There is five love language according to Gary Chapman in his book entitled the five love language the secret to love that last before we start i have my phone with me again and let's get started let's know what is love language so love language is a way in which a person expresses and receives love and relationship be it a friendship family or romantic relationship first we have here the act of service type of love language in which a person feels love through the actions help and support of loved ones so someone who appreciate act of service will notice and appreciate little things you do for them in turn they will perform acts of service and kindness for others so for example of this are accepting assistance or initiative help with household chores talking care of children taking care of the children providing assistance to the work or offering assistance before being asked so act of service is in the forms of action they will make an effort for you without being asked so you must notice about that number two we have here the physical touch which means this is felt through physical contact the affection that appears here is not something negative but rather a manifestation of affection and sincerity given by someone Example of this are hugs, clubs, and whatsoever that includes a physical touch or a physical contact. So people who enjoy a physical touch feel most valued when they are physically near of their loved ones. Love hugs, kisses, holding hands, and any form of physical touch. To number three. So we have here the words of affirmation defined as love receiving compliments and others positive words it could be that your type of love language is a words of affirmation people whose love language is words of affirmation they feel very appreciated and love when someone gives a positive words such as support motivation and praises so this one is one of my favorite because i really like when someone I don't know if it's me only because I really like someone when someone gives me a support through his words because I badly need it. As a growing up woman and a very independent, surviving about life, then it must be so hard for me to battle every day and to tell myself that I can do it. So, words of affirmation mean a lot to me. The number four. We have here the receiving gifts. Type of love language in which a person feels love by giving gifts. 
this gift doesn't have to be expensive but it could be something with a special meaning or pleasant surprise we're not talking about expensive one here we're talking about gifts that is behind of that there is a meaning there is like it's not needed to be expensive as long as you're giving that from the very bottom of your heart and there is a special meaning why you're giving to that person so that's it when it comes to gift as a love language this person may feel most appreciated when giving or receiving something from their loved one they admire someone going out their way to get them something special especially when it's something the person has mentioned they like so we have here the quality time most of the people according to the data that i've researched so far that this is the top love language that someone has because people love spending quality time with their partners and their loved ones does it mean that long distance relationship will not work at all someone with this love language feels love when attention is given in the form of togetherness such as doing activities together just sitting side by side someone who stop love language wants your undivided attention simply put spending time with that person free of distraction will show them how much you care for their presence additionally making eye contact actively are the key ways to show your love for this person knowing the type of love language that the person you care about is very important so that you can express sincere feelings of affection and love for that person more easily so how to know someone love language we have here the first way to know someone love language is to pay attention to how they show concern for you you can easily see through their actions or words they give to express their affection for you for example do they often give gifts compliment you or spending time alone with you so number one you have to pay attention to someone or to your partner in order for you to um, express your love or affection more easily and number two we have you have to listen to the language your partner speaks couple may express their love language indirectly through the language they use if they often say i miss you or i like being with you then that could be a clue about their love language you just have to listen to the language that your partner speaks so that's important as well so number three you have to observe on how your partner responds so everyone has different style of expressing love and the way your partner responds to your actions can also be a clue about their love language for example if your partner is a very happy when you give them a gift that could be a clue that their love language is gift of acceptance then number four if you are not good in observing, listening, and paying attention to your partner because you are very busy at work, then you could ask them directly. The easiest way to find out someone love language is to ask them directly. Ask him or her feel love and feel happy if someone did that kind of thing. With an open and honest communication, the existing relationship will run well and be healthy or healthier. So that's it. And thank you so much, Fox, for still supporting my YouTube channel. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up, comment, and share. And if you have some time, comment down below if what is your love language and your response about this topic. So I'll see you soon on my next video. Bye-bye.